Have you ever wanted to create a page with your Elementor website or any page builder where you share your social profiles or pages or posts or even your YouTube channel? Or how about you want to create a button like that where people can donate? This is not built with a plugin. This is built purely with Elementor. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. First, we're going to do is create a new page and I'm going to call this socials and then we're going to hit edit with Elemental. I'm going to go down to the settings in the bottom left. I'm going to hide the title. and I'm going to turn this into an Elemental Canvas page. I'm just going to hit publish for now. Why have I gone for Elemental Canvas? I don't need my header or footer there. I want to keep it really, really clean especially when you're looking at it on a mobile. Right, now we're going to keep this all very, very simple. Now I'm going to add in a container. It's going to be a column approach. I'm going to go to my container over here, go to my advanced, and I'm going to give this about uh, 50 from the top and 50 from the bottom as well. Now we're going to keep this really, really simple. We're going to have image, name, um, company name maybe, a bit of a bio, very short bio, and then we're going to have all the links. You don't want to over flood it with too much information. You want to keep it really, really simple and succinct. Right, okay, let's just go here and add in an image. I'm now going to pick my profile image that I've luckily already got loaded up. Hello, dear sir. And I'm going to go for 100 pixels as the maximum width and all of that. That's looking fine so far. I'm now going to drop in a heading below. Obviously, for your font family, use a custom loaded font if you care about your page speed performance. I've got an REM size of 1.2 and I've got a letter spacing of 0.5. That's kind of all I'm going to do there. I'm just going to duplicate it again. And now I'm going to put our company name and I'm going to make the font of this now be a little bit darker. There we go. By the way, you would flex this to work for you for how you want it to look. Now I'm going to add in some text editor right below. Obviously, as soon as you add that, you can now see the text was stretching all the way across. So I'm going to go back over to my container and I'm going to make this be a width of about 675, something like that. I made a bit of a statement. I'm just going to quickly modify by the style of that, make it slightly darker. In hindsight now, I am now just going to drop this down to be 600. There you go, that, that looks a little bit better. Now below here is where I can start to drop in all of our links or buttons. So this is pretty simple now, okay? You're just going to drop in a button below like that. So we've changed the words to be join our Facebook group. You would have put in the Facebook group link in there. I'm just going through this quite quickly. You go to style, you would stylize it. You would go to, well, obviously you're typography as well and all of that. You would go to hover and I've gone and said, give it a grow feature there. So when you hover over it, you now get a hover basically like that. And then all I can do now is just duplicate. I've gone and duplicated and I have also changed the background style because I found too much red was a bit overpowering. This one over here, if it's bookers for a consultation, it would have mail to and it could open up an email, for instance. This one down here, supporters with a drink, is actually going to be an accordion that opens up and allows us to kind of make donations if we so want. And this is going to be super, super cool on how we do this with Elementor. But the one problem we do have is that is we have got a lot of variation in the sizes. So this is where I would say go over to your button and maybe just make them be, I'm, I'm just going to basically paste a style like that, make them equal in size like that. So now it doesn't matter how they look. It's up to you. You might like it. If you don't like it, go and change it. I'm also going to go over to this text editor and I'm now just going to give this a margin of about uh, 30 on the left and right just to bring in things in a bit. If it's right up against the button, I don't find it looked as good. But if it comes in a little bit as it is right now here, I feel like that works a little bit better. Now, what I'm going to do with the supporters of the drink is replace that with an accordion like this. Let's just get that in, pop that in. Now, for anyone who uses accordion, you will obviously know that the first one always all put, opens automatically. We're going to drop in a little bit of code, which will stop that from happening. I'm going to get rid of accordion two. So we only have accordion one at the moment. By the way, we will be adding in a dummy field, okay, which I will get onto in a moment. Just stay with me. I am going to get rid of the icon as well. I'm going to go over to the title and I'm now going to just put in what I had before. But before I do that, I am going to type in the word center like that and say support. There we go. So that now kind of moves it into the middle because it's basically a bit of HTML. Let's go over to our style. Obviously, adjust your typography, your background color, as I've done here. Do all of that to make it look similar. I'm now actually going to get rid of that one there, that other button we had. So now what we have is um, we have an accordion. 
and we have a content here. I'm now gonna clear away that content. I'm gonna go over to templates and I'm gonna create a new one. I'm just, I mean, I'm not really fussed what it is. I'm just gonna, it's just gonna be a section. I'm gonna call it donate accordion and click create template. We're not gonna use any of the ones they give us and all I'm gonna do here is just create one that contains, um, say three, con in fact, it doesn't even have to be three containers. I lie, it can be one container, okay? and then we're gonna have them wrapping in there. Let me explain what I mean. And this is going back into using Flexbox containers if you're not familiar with it. I'm gonna go here and I'm going to pop in a little bit of text. I'm just gonna grab this text here. I'm gonna drop that in first like that. Support us to create amazing content, okay? And then I'm going to grab uh, the PayPal widget, which is over here, which is the PayPal button. Let's just drop that in. The PayPal button says buy now. We uh, Obviously what you would do is you would link it, put your details in obviously. Um, you might need to do some PayPal API integration. Super, super quick and easy in Elemental, okay? And many other page builders. But just go away and do that. You would then go and set your price. Let's just put it as one. I'm gonna go for GBP because I'm in the UK. And I'm gonna change the button to be a one like that. We're gonna get rid of the icon. I'm gonna hit the center, so it just moves it over to the center. Change the background color, the text color. We're gonna give it a border. I'm gonna give it about a two, no, one. I think one works pretty well. Depend, decide on if you're gonna have a bit of a border radius, which we have kind of done previously, so we'll do that as well. And what we now have is a button. By the way, I've just remembered the transaction type should be a donation, so we've done that. You can also allow any mount as well, but I would probably say fixed probably makes sense. So now let me just duplicate that. Uh, what you do want to do though is go over to your content for each one, make sure you set the amount, go over to the button, make sure you change the text over there. If you just change it here, it won't change the text or the other way around, or if you put £10 but you don't change it where I'm doing it right now, you won't, it just doesn't synchronize, okay, basically, right. So what we've got now is one, five, and 10. Now let's put these side by side, super, super easy. Go to your container. At the moment, this is a column, set it to be a row. Then I'm going to say wrap it like that. Now at the moment, that is not wrapping, right? Clearly it's not. But what you now do is go over to your text, go to your advance, and where you have the width, I'm gonna say make that be full width. As soon as I do that, that is now full width and everything else wraps onto the second row, but this is now starting over there. Again, super, super easy to sort out. Go to your container. Now I'm gonna justify the content to sit in the middle like that. Um, we do have a lot of spacing over there. So where we have the gap, you might wanna set that to zero maybe, or you might just wanna go with 10 or something like that. I'm actually gonna set this to be um, zero because I feel like it is quite far apart already. I'm gonna go over to the middle button like this, rather than using space between and all of that, because then I would have to start messing around with the width of it. I'm just gonna to go to advanced, and I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna say, look, just give me about 20 on the left and 20 on the right like that. That's pretty, pretty simple. Now, don't forget, you can adjust how these look if you want. In fact, there is something else we need to do before I jump. Just double check how this looks on the mobile. Is it still looking fine in terms of your font size and how the buttons sit as well? If not, adjust it accordingly. So let's say you've now done all of that. What you would then do is go back into your template, okay? And the donate accordion now has a shortcode. Pick up that shortcode. Go back over to your page, which is here where we've got the accordion. Into that accordion, down here, you would now drop in the shortcode. Now, you will not see anything except the shortcode. Don't worry about that. It will all become visually clear in a moment. Hit update. Now, when I look at it on preview, look, we have this here with our buttons for donation as well. The problem is, though, is that it is always open. I don't want it to be always open. So how do we stop that? First thing I'm going to do is go to my accordion and I'm going to give it a name. So if I go down here to the class name, I'm going to call it Accord. You could probably, I mean, Accord, there you go. You could probably give it a better, funkier name if you want. I'm going to go down to custom CSS and I'm now going to drop in this little bit of code here. What this does is close the first tab of the accordion. Well, as soon as I've done that, the accordion has completely disappeared because I only had one tab. Easy to get back. I'm just gonna click add an item. This item won't have anything in it, right? It's just got a title. There's, there's gonna be no content whatsoever. In fact, I'm gonna call this dummy like that. 
I'm going to close that. I'm now going to move that to be the top one. The top one dummy is automatically closed. You can't see it. You can't open it. Okay. It's not there. The other one, if I now hit update, is visible. If we go back over to our preview page, look at that. It is now, lo and behold, we have our little thing. But can you notice there's something a little bit wrong here? We don't have the hover effect, so you might want to have a think about that. But can you see the borders of here are not rounded like what we've got here? Because that feature in accordion if we go back over here if i go to border if i go and start adding in values here it doesn't really do anything and if i was to go over to the style the content anything like that it's just not there so we can't actually style it but you can with a tiny bit of code this has now applied five pixel border radius as what i had above to that as well so if you wanna, if you have a particular style where let's say if I change that to be a 25, so you now you got it more like a capsule or a pill, you could do that. But if you want hit social share buttons as well like that. So, you know, you could put these right at the bottom. I would probably say you wanna space these out a little bit. So I would go with about 20, a bit more spacing there. Um, you might want to centralize them. I would probably say you just have the icon. You would stylize it however you want, right? You know, the sizing, the padding, the content, anything like that. But what it now means is that is either people can join us or pay for a drink or whatever, or they can click a button and actually share this over to anywhere else. And of course, you can go a step further and maybe add in another note at the bottom as well. Maybe say thank you for joining us. You know, whatever you want. I'm very quickly going to jump onto the mobile as well, but I just want to remind you that you could have added in icons as well if you wanted into like your buttons and stuff like that. I didn't do that, but you could do just make sure then you put the right HTML with the FA icon or however you're going to do it into the accordion as well. If you're going to have an accordion, let's slip over to the mobile. Uh, the text is kind of okay. I'm just going to go to my container. Just say, give me some padding. Now, if I view it on preview now, I mean, look, that just works, right? It's a nice link page and you can you can make this as bespoke as you want. And if I go over here to response and look, you have the options down here. You got your sharing icons, you click that. Oops, sorry. You click that and there you go. You've got your buttons down there as well. And it's... It's all, I mean, if you've got a page builder, you can do this for free really, really quick and easily. So I hope you go and have a go. I'm Imran, Web Squadron. Like, subscribe, share, and follow, and have fun. See you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the back.